have currently made myself into a blanket burrito. It is so unbelievably cold right now. We had the heat on and everything, but we kept it on all night. So we got kind of like really warm like in the beginning, but literally like I'm trying not to turn the heat back on because DTE be on some other but oh this is this is nice i could literally like stay here like all day i probably will and just edit a bunch of videos today i wanted to like get a little like laundry and stuff done but like i literally like just i i still have you know it's no big deal it's like a little load but I just want to stay here all day. <laughs> but it's Vlogmas. I can't stay here all day. I'm just so sleepy. I just want to sleep. I almost fell asleep there. <laughs> See, these vlogs are not your average, like, Vlogmas vlogs. Like... This is literally like y'all are hanging out with me. This is this is what happens in my life. This is all. I, I can't be anybody else but me. Just leave my bonnet on and go with the flow. Oh my God. It would be so great like if I had a weighted blanket. Oh, I need to see how much one of those things are. I heard they're like hella expensive. I don't know if I really want to invest that much. I'm going to look them up. Also, I've noticed that my skin feels so much better from last night when I actually did the skincare routine. So I'm going to do it again today. I'm going to try and keep it consistent as long as I'm on here. I feel like I can hold myself accountable for if I like skip anything or skip like, you know, doing my self-care and everything like that. When I say self-care, I mean like things like washing my face, like little things like spot treating and um, just giving myself like a little bit of time to like meditate, have some time on my own, things like that. So I love how my skin feels right now. I'm going to probably put some moisturizer on it in a little while. Um, I'm going to use that Maylin Goetz vitamin E moisturizer. I really love that moisturizer, by the way. I'll link it below. And then I might put some uh like eye cream underneath my eye just to kind of like just wake up a little bit and then don't let me forget though like we literally we we gotta stay on target with this Nespresso thing like how I said I haven't opened an advent calendar since I was little so it's very hard for me to be consistent with it but I'm trying and I'm succeeding so also I know I should not be wanting to buy more mugs or cups or anything of that sort but there is a cup that I want I cannot find it anywhere and it's just one of those round bowl type of mugs and it's got the Starbucks logo on it but I cannot find that one specifically I can only find just the regular mug like the the regular just like round square kind of looking mug and then like I can obviously find all of the other Starbucks cups with the straws, you know, the tumblers and stuff. But I cannot find this specific mug. And I just want one. <laughs> I really want one so bad. I love those round, like, soup bowl kind of, like, mugs for my coffee and stuff. Because then I can, like, have more room for milk or or whatever. Like, I don't know. Hopefully I can find it. Maybe somebody on Etsy has it. I don't think I checked there. I did check Amazon and then I checked Google. I don't know. I I think I saw something similar on eBay, but I don't really know about that. I mean, I look at the feedback on eBay, but at the same time, I don't know if I want to cut from eBay. It didn't really look, it looked kind of like somebody used it and just washed it out and said, I'm just trying to get rid of it. So I don't want that either but yeah so I'm just gonna be a blanket for 
blanket burrito. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a blanket burrito for a while because this is so comfortable. You guys don't even understand. It's the simple things. Oh my god, I can just sleep forever. Like I don't, I don't know. I'm so tired. I went to bed at my usual time, but it's fine. It's fine. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to get some coffee. Yeah, good morning. Well, good afternoon, beautiful. Today is the 7th. What we got? What we got? No decaf. No decaf. Oh, no, I'm ripping it. Whatever. Two Cafe. Never heard of that one. This one looks to be an espresso shot. See, this one had the fluid ounces on there. I don't know why the other one didn't. Hmm. All right, let's pop it in, shall we? I want to taste this one by itself because I've never had it. Yeah. Good. It smells really good. Some of them, they just smell like coffee. It's got a little like nuttiness or something to it. Like it's really, it smells like very like aromatic versus the other ones. Here we go. Nope. It's very like, most of the coffees have like a soothing like smooth type of like aftertaste this one oh yeah like this one has like a really bitter type of aftertaste and i don't know if i dig it like it's smooth going in but then like when it lingers like i feel like i'm gonna have to brush my teeth i'm still gonna drink it like but it's not, it's definitely not one of my favorite ones. And it's not the fact that it's strong. I love strong coffee. It's just, it's the, the aftertaste. I don't know what it is. It's like, it smelled so good that I expected it to taste that way. And then like, it just ended up being very bitter. Like very, very bitter. It's very bitter, like on the tongue. It lingers on the tongue. I literally need to try <laughs> and actually like, do something with my face and my hair in the morning i usually do like on the weekends but during the week because i work from home like the most i do is like take a shower in the morning brush my teeth and all of the essential things that i need to do aside from putting on makeup and things like that i don't even remember the last time like i wore makeup actually i do so the last time that i wore makeup was when i filmed the fab fit fun video that had to be the last time um, and that'll be going up soon, by the way. So, because I'm late putting up the fall box, but I've been working on Vlogmas and things like that. And then I'll also be putting up the Love Me Hair video, uh, the review. So, yeah, I not the other one. That That's a different video, but there's a new one coming. So, spoiler, I'm taking a break. Um... I'm still working and everything and sneezing at that. I don't know why I'm sneezing so dang much right now. Um, but there is a big Amazon outage going on right now. And I didn't even like realize that this was happening like all on the East Coast. Like a lot of West Coast people aren't experiencing it for some odd reason. But people on the East Coast are. And it's been like this for a couple of hours. So... It's been like affecting a lot of things as well as uh, surprisingly Disney Plus. So uh, yeah, like <laughs> it's, this is so crazy. Like never would have expected it. I wonder what actually happened like in order for it to happen. Like because things don't just happen. You know what I'm saying? So something had to have occurred. Oh, and then people were saying like Amazon Music was stopping and Alexa and all that stuff. So very creepy. Oh, and then I think that I slept wrong and I feel like I have like a crook in my neck or something like because it hurts really, really bad. I need my like heating pad right here or something like 
it, it hurts. Like it hurts when I kind of tilt my head to the side. The one pain that I cannot stand is a pain in my neck. Like I can't, like it's just all, all bad. So the new video is up now. I just had an Arizona. I'm kind of pigging out right now. <laughs> I really shouldn't be, but my mom, she made this stuff called um, Christmas crack. That is what it's called. Apparently I've never heard of it before and i am in love with it so it's technically like a saltine cracker and then i guess she put like toffee on the bottom and then she put chocolate on the top and when i tell you that this is the devil this is the devil because <laughs> i've been eating this for the past like couple of days and oh bless you oh my god like it is so good I have to brush my teeth after I eat this just because of my like tooth situation, but oh, so good. It is just, it's the right amount of sweetness and salty, you know, like how you crave, like, I don't know if it's just me or if it's you guys too, but like, usually I have like a moment to where I want salty and sweet things at the same time. It's just very odd, but this, this helps like a lot. So you guys just saw that I ate that Christmas crack. Like, don't get me wrong. I did not eat the whole plate. Um, like I had it on the plate in a freezer. So like that way if, you know, uh, my boyfriend, if he ever wanted to like grab a couple pieces and eat some, then he could eat some. But I doubt he's going to eat it anyway. So we've just been kind of grazing like, you know, me, my mom and my friend and stuff. But all of a sudden, I just wanted this. I had this really big salty craving and I think I went a little bit overboard because these are just olives I just want these right now and I just want to snack on them and watch YouTube after eating that sweet salty snack I really want some salty type of stuff here so I don't know what's going on right now <laughs> it's very weird good morning welcome to vlogmas day eight so these right here are gonna be the replacement bottles for those Tarani bottles that I have on the counter. I just think that they take up way too much space. Um, and I have like the little pour spouts now, which is really cute. So these are actually bitter bottles and somebody gave me an idea to uh, use these instead of the actual like plastic bottles in the kitchen. Um, and that's Teresa. Um, I'll go ahead and list her Amazon and all that stuff below. These are so cute and they're so vintage -y looking. I love vintage look. Look at that. How cute is that? So I'm going to be using those and all of the bottles are like a little bit different. And I really love this because it comes with a little funnel. It looks like two. Sorry I didn't film too much yesterday, by the way. Like, I just wasn't feeling very well. I'm okay now, but I just was not feeling good. Okay, here's the other one. I just think that's so cute. Then I'm going to get a label maker, and then I can label them, like, how I want. This one's the same as the other one. I hope this other one, this should be, because I think there should be six. You can choose between having the pour spout on the top or like these little cute things, which is so adorable. Oh, these are the pour spouts too. I think they just gave me one big one for one of those or something. It's really adorable. Okay, here's a different one. I like the pattern on this one so cute later on i'll go ahead and i'll put uh the syrup in the bottle so you guys can see how that looks um i'm hoping to get like one of those stair things for the counter so that way i can just kind of line them up and organize them really nice but i just think this is gonna be so cute i have a feeling that my mom is gonna steal this idea from me because <laughs> like I didn't tell her about this, so when she sees this, she's gonna be like, oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs>
turn this fresh on camera. But the first thing that I want to do is I want to put these bottles on the counter because I just want to get them off this box and stuff. And I'm excited to have them on the counter. I don't think I'm going to put these on there. I think I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the other thing there. Actually, I might want to put these on there first because I don't think that my toppers came. I really want to get one of those like acrylic like step stool chair looking thingies. So, or not chair, what do you call it? The step stairs things for where you can sit like the... What do you have? What are you doing? Huh? You're nosy. Oh my God. Like how I was saying, I want to get one of those like acrylic like staircase things to where like the syrups can sit on. I really don't know what it's called. Maybe they are called stairs and I just think I'm overthinking it. And then also, sorry, I didn't film too much of what you just saw because uh, I just, I was really excited to go. I literally told uh, my boyfriend at the table, I was like, I've been thinking about this place all day. Like I haven't been there for like two years, like since COVID started. So I missed this so much. That was my favorite restaurant. I love going there. So you guys, like, if you do come here, like, check that one out. And it's super cheap. It's really, really cheap. It's, like, scary cheap. Oh, these do come with caps. Okay, so we'll put these on instead of these little things. And I'll keep these in the wrap. Because these are just regular tops. So if you haven't seen these, they look like this. Like little snow globes. That's what they look like. Um, So there's that. Um, These other ones that I'm going to put on top are gold they're really pretty Just to reiterate these are bitter bottles they're not supposed to be like made for anything else but i like how vintage they look and then i got the idea from um her off of instagram she had posted a video about it and everything and i was just like oh my god so good teresa is like the organization queen um so this is what the tops look like i'm trying to show you guys without like covering it but it's got a little cork in there and then they come with little covers that's what I was concerned about because I wasn't going to put these tops on there without the covers because I don't want any fruit flies or anything accumulating so this right here we're going to slide those on the, the tippy tops they come with these cute little bottles and I'm going to go ahead and uh pour them in like these look at how pretty i didn't think this through though because like i only have well i guess i can save the other ones for when i get the pistachio one because i plan on buying more flavors for this just in case like people come over and all that good stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of this uh toasted marshmallow in there i also need to get a label maker wait a minute hold we have to completely rewind because i just almost committed a sin we need to wash these out before we put anything in them. That's first and foremost. Oh, Lord. We are going to grab our little funnel and then we are going to start pouring slowly. Ooh, this thing fills up really fast. Oh, just to about there. Look at how pretty it is. Somebody gonna mistake this for some alcohol. I'm gonna keep this, so I'm gonna rinse this out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plop the top on here because I don't want no fruit flies and stuff. So we got our little top. We're just gonna shove it in there. I'll have these linked below too, like if you want to like steal this idea, because I stole it from somebody else and like it literally is like the best thing that I've ever done in my life. So there it is. And then you can just like pour it out and everything. But before we do that, before we set it on the counter, I want to put this little uh this little spout cover on top of it because I don't want any fruit flies. Yeah, look at that. It's so cute. It's like I'm making potions. For the maple one, this one might get messy. I'm really scared about this one. I think I want to put the maple one and this like pretty looking one. There's still water in here. At least you know I washed it. So that's the, it's still water in here. cute is that i would literally put this on the table like if i was having like a brunch or something this is so like cute and bougie looking so cute 
I'm not going to put the syrups in there because obviously they're too thick and heavy to come out of those types of bottles or those tiny little spouts. I'm not going to do that. Um, I just see that as one, a mess, and then two, a disaster waiting to happen. This third one though, I'm going to put the last little bit of my hazelnut syrup in there. So I'm just going to do it like this. I just filled all the bottles. It's so cute. It looks like a perfume slash alcoholic type of bottle. I mean, it's a bitters bottle. So yeah, technically. Um, so I just filled that up. This one is the hazelnut one. And then I put the maple one in this little bougie fancy one right here. It literally looks like it's got like somebody's type of like emblem on there. And then I put the marshmallow one in here. So when I get the stairs things for the syrups to sit on, I think it will be really cute. I have to show you guys in one vlog this, my mom's whole Nespresso whatever collection. I thought I was obsessed with Nespresso, but hers is a whole nother level. I'm going to keep the rest of these in the box um, for when I get more syrups and stuff because I definitely plan on getting that pistachio on. They gave me this giant one. I don't know if this was like a freebie in there, but I'll take it. Guys, we did not open our Nespresso. What is today, the eighth? Okay. Go like that. Orange. It says, Inizio. So here it is. This one is interesting because it's a lot bigger than that one that didn't have the fluid ounces on there, but it literally is the same. It doesn't have any fluid ounces or anything on there. It's still nine o'clock. Why the hell not? We can taste this. Nine o'clock, I can taste it. I just had alcohol. My heart's gonna pump through my chest. Let's do the big mug right now because then I can put some milk in here. I'm going to put some marshmallow in here because like, that's what I want. No, I'm gonna put some maple in here because we haven't tried the maple in the coffee yet. Or I wanna see how it pours. Does it not pour? Well, it can't. You have to like shake it like a Polaroid picture. This looks really weird. There is only a little bit in there. I do promise you that. I'm scared it's gonna be too, too sweet. And I really don't like really sweet coffee. Like super, super sweet. Hey guys, it don't help to do the bottles yet. So I'm gonna press the button. Our little like max line at the bottom. It's a little frozen. Little button. Get us to start mixing. These are just so pretty sitting on the side. But I want them to sit on like some acrylic stairs or something just specifically for them. But I think that, oh my God, Teresa, thank you so much. If you ever watch my videos, just understand, I follow you and I literally like love everything that you do with your page and just like inspiring people to be more organized and uh, make me shop ridiculously. That is definitely probably not Oh no, that's about it. Yeah, that's about five. Uh, yeet. Also, I don't know if you guys know, but you don't have to just frost like milk in here, like on a warm setting. You can do it on a cold setting too. If you double click this, this little light will turn blue and then you can do like a cold foam, which is like really nice. I heard it myself. Pour it in there. It's too thick. Oh, I'm gonna give it a, a go after I give it a stir. Here we go. Cheers. Maybe I was onto something with this orange in this orange or something like that. Cause this literally tastes like something I would drink in the fall. Like it's really, really good. Like you can barely taste the coffee really, which I think that that's where that sweetness comes into play. I think like maybe like I added a little bit too much sweetener because I think I need to be a little bit more lighter with the maple. But this, I think my mom would like something like this. Cause she likes the really sweet coffees. I just, I like to taste my coffee. Like she likes her coffee with her creamer and I like my creamer with my coffee. 
You know what I'm saying? This is really good. Like, I want to put some cinnamon on here. So I'm just going to plop the little cinnamon on there. Oh, hello to you too. You're making noises at me. So yeah, this is really, really good. It's just, I just, I want more coffee taste. That's, that's what I want. Or maybe like I put too much, um, too much of the pumpkin in there, but it's still like, I taste a tiny, tiny hint of the coffee. I want more of that. So but you guys thank you guys for watching this video make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you guys get notified when i post new videos i hope you guys are enjoying this vlogmas this is like a lot more and i'm still tr i'm trying to stay on track with these because these are so hard to do be nice to the youtubers because vlogmas is is very like stressful for some people <laughs> make sure that you hit that like button let me know how you feel about this video and uh, if you've been opening the Nespresso uh, advent calendar with me, how do you like it? I want to know how you like it. That's my question of the day. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.